that. So I'm gonna go ahead and restart that. Make sure y'all can hear me. Amen. In this life, everybody shall have a valley experience. Amen. But those that hold on to God know while they're going through, Amen. Jesus will never leave you nor Amen. forsake you. Amen. While you're giving God some praise, I want to say this song. Good morning, Mom. In the valley, right at the morning star. you on zoom um i don't have a panel discussion today but i want to share my screen for i wanted to do a slideshow discussion if that's all right with you guys amen like i said you know you never know what to expect from me uh, my mom's gonna try to do something different so hopefully you guys will enjoy this as you can see my screen and i'm gonna start from the beginning as you can see my screen again, uh, amen, LaShawn. Happy Worthy Wednesday. Um, I thank you guys for joining me. I pray that you guys had a great weekend. Um, I pray that everything went well for you over the holidays. Those who celebrated the 4th, those who did not to stand in alliance with the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, I commend you, of course, I'm proud of you. I pray that everything went well. Um, I'm happy to be back. I missed you guys. Um, thank you for all your prayers and your encouraging words. I appreciate that. Um, losing one of my, I call her like a little sister, Jules, but my best friend's little cousin, um, that definitely was difficult and hard, but she was a wonderful woman and she had a beautiful spirit and she was full of life and joy and hope. So just to be around her family this weekend was definitely awesome. And we just sharing stories and just, you know, giving that love and support that everyone needs when you're going through grieving. So Thank you all again for your kind words and your comments and your prayers. I appreciate it. And even those who might even be in the midst now going through something, or you might have lost someone recently, or you're still grieving. Trust me, I understand. We all going to be praying for each other and lifting each other up. Amen. Amen. So let us go before the throne of grace with a word of prayer, and then we're going to get into our, our title and our subject today. Amen. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for today. We thank and praise you for lifting us up this morning, Father. We thank you for putting uh, food on our table, Father, and clothes on our back. I thank you for your grace and your mercy that is ever so sufficient. So I ask right now in the name of Jesus that you have a way, Father, not just only in our lives, but in our homes, Father, in our families, our jobs. You know our hearts the more than we know them ourselves. You know our needs and things that we also want, Father. So we ask you right now in the name of Jesus that you open our hearts and our minds and our ears to hear the word from you on this 
morning, hear the confirmation to hear whatever you have for us to move forward, not just in this season, but Father, but also to move forward in our relationship with you. Help us to manifest the foundations of our faithfulness, the foundations of our righteousness, the foundations of our sacrifice. Help us continue to lean on you for all that we need. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So again, this morning, beloved, I wanted to do a PowerPoint presentation, of course, and the topic for this morning um, that I posed to you as the question was, in this season, will you follow after God's love or will you follow your ego? Mm, Jesus, in this season, will you follow after God's love or will you follow after your ego? Amen. Amen. So this morning, beloved, I wanted to, to read you a little story. If that's all right. Um, I'm sure you can see it on the screen as well. You can follow along. But I wanted to read you a little story about love and about ego and about emotions in general. We have done so many different discussions, I believe, in topics about fear, about love, about emotions. I mean, there are so many different things that we talked about. But this morning, Beloved, I, I thought this was necessary just because of the time frame that we're in. We're in the fifth month of the pandemic. I mean, we don't know when it's going to end. We don't know what's next. Amen. But but God, we're still trying to have faith. Amen. And with that comes the, the roller coaster of emotions. With that, life is still going on. You know, folks are still taking um sacrifices or chances when we go outside or we go do something, the hospital beds. Good morning, Leticia. Things are still going on. So I, I thought this was a good topic because sometimes we can get confused between God's love or our ego, which is, you know, really just following our own intuition or doing our own thing. Amen. So the story of love and ego. Amen. It says, once upon a time, there was an island where all the feelings lived together. One day there was a storm in the sea and the island was about to get drowned. Every feeling was scared, but love made a boat to escape. Every feeling boarded the boat, only one was left. Love got down to see who it was. It was ego. Love tried and tried, but ego wasn't moving. Meanwhile, the water was rising too. Everyone asked love to leave him and come in the boat but love was made to love. In the end, all the feelings escaped and love dies with ego on the island. The moral is love dies because of ego. Mm, Jesus. So this morning, beloved, I wanted to pose to you from just that little story is how many of us have allowed our ego to overtake us? Come on. Again, no judgment. This is the safe zone. You can do the little hand, little emoji if you want to hit a like, tweet, tweet. It's all right. But how many of us have allowed our ego to overtake us, you know? But then it makes me want to wonder, then what is an ego? What, what, what would you classify as an ego? For me, I believe ego is thinking that you have it all together, you know, always having to be in control. Have you ever been in that type of situation where you think you got to have it all together or you think you got to be in control? Mm, Jesus, I mean, again, I'm guilty of that as well. But within the poem or the little story that we just read, the island was going under. That's what we read. There was they, all the emotions were on the island. I'm sure that means there was joy, happiness, you know, sorrow, fear, all the emotions that we all feel every day or maybe every once in a while. But all the emotions were on the island and they were about to go under. And all the emotions knew they had to get on the boat to survive. So even as they were scared, love said, hey, I'll make a boat and we'll get on and we'll be safe. But for some reason, ego would not get on the boat. Hmm. You know, have you ever been in a situation where you, you've been tired of, of crying or, or you, you had no joy left for some reason? you leaving, you say the situation that you're in. Mm, Jesus, come on, beloved. You're going to talk about them this morning. I'm trying to, you know, ego, ego is he knows what's going on. It's going to 